Paul, what are your final thoughts? I, I got to go with Amy, and we have to, you know, raise our kids better. Yeah. I mean, you can have police, this and that. There's just Band-Aid band -Aid solutions. You want to prevent it. We want to raise a better society. We want to have people who don't have the urges, who, don't, who aren't poor, who have jobs. They don't have to go out and rob and do this and attack people. So we got we to gotta teach our kids better. But, uh, but also, we don't want to introduce paranoia into all of this about being too fearful. And not take we away... We still got to enjoy life. Not, we still not take gotta, away our freedoms and have, you know... <coughs> not cameras on like every a police block, state that sort of thing. And curfews, I mean... Like that I, big light you were talking about, Exactly. Shiny? I still can't sleep at night. Oh, man. Anthony, what are your final thoughts? Well, you know, with respect to the incident that occurred the other day, um, certainly very, very tragic, and one hopes that those things never happen. One you hopes know, we can learn yeah. from some of those well, things that well, happen yeah, and well, make things better, well, right? Here, here's what we are learning very clearly, that a community that was built to house at best 1,500 people, uh, you know, residents, yeah. is now housing somewhere between five and 10,000, mostly students. Mm -hmm. uh, it, was, it was built, developed, not with the, not with the, the thinking that it would be, uh, a, a, you know, student housing, yeah. and now we're dealing with some of the, the, okay. the, the aftermath, uh, some of the repercussions Thank of you that. all very much for coming and talking about these important issues involving community safety. That's it for now. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.